Hello everybody and welcome back to Sierra Saturday. My name is Luke and it is just me today because Matt and Andrew are enjoying their holidays and I am also enjoying my holidays but not with anybody else so I have the time and energy and ability to record a video on my own and today we're doing a Sierra Classic? called Mixed Up Mother Goose. If you're not familiar with this one, it is a children's game, of course, uh, where you um, play a child who is in a Mother Goose fable of sorts. Well, actually, not really in a Mother Goose fable, but you are meant to meet up with Mother Goose. Well, you'll see the story. It's, uh, it's right here. But um, anyway, uh, I go to sleep. Mixed up Mother Goose appears in my dream. I am brought by Goose to the land of uh, fairy... not fairy tales, what the fuck. Uh, brought to the land of um, nursery rhymes and uh, asked to take care of some uh, things that have gone down. NPC! My rhymes are mixed up! Please help me fix them! That's right, so there are a bunch of rhymes that need fixing by... because there's just a bunch of shit that's missing. So uh, we are going to go uh, quickly because we need to, uh, because this game is really slow otherwise and there's not a whole lot to do aside from walking around on a grid. Uh, we gotta pick stuff up just like this blue watering can and deliver it to its owner, in this case Mary. Mary, quite contrary, and if I get hung up on uh, an NPC like uh, Jack B. Nimble right here, they will tell me what they are missing. He is missing his candlestick, of course, and uh, f keep me from moving. So I'm actually going to attempt wherever possible to avoid getting hung up on any of the uh, random uh, nursery rhyme characters that are uh, standing around in the map here. I'm gonna shut up when these are going so that you can hear the lovely Roland MT32 sounds. Here we go. Yay! So pretty. So I'm going to try and do this sort of methodically. Uh, I'm going to go sort of grid space by grid space and we're going to attempt to get through this reasonably quickly. I'm not going to quite call it a speed run because I'm not that good at this game, but I played it once or twice and uh, should be able to make the deliveries uh, reasonably quickly. Try and get through this uh, in about half an hour or less. Normally on Sierra Saturday we would be doing a double feature, but today I'm just going to do this one game, start to finish. I'll shut up again. Marvelous. And so with any luck, uh, we'll be in a situation where we can make all of our deliveries in very, very uh, short order. Uh, I'm actually going to switch over to this uh, horse because I can deliver it right here to Banbury Cross. Yay! I'm not amazingly uh, like efficient playing this game, but I'm gonna try wherever possible to avoid too much backtracking unless it's a short amount. So every once in a while you might see me drop an item uh, just so that I can... Oh, I'm going the wrong direction the wrong direction. You'll see me drop like an item somewhere um, just in interest of being able to take it back to where I need to. Okay, the uh, two sheep are right there. Is that? She wants her tuffet. Fuck! 
Uh, in this case, uh, Little Bo Peep here, which we, uh, no, not Little Bo Peep, Little Miss Muffet, um, is, uh, is as much an item as anybody else. Uh, we are, leave me alone, dog, okay. At least the dog doesn't talk. I want the, okay, yeah. So that's actually, I don't know if that's necessarily a glitch, but sometimes you get hung up on something and you can't, uh, put it down. Uh, or you you sort of start escorting something, you can't pick something else up until you leave the map, which kind of also gets in the way. Yay, okay. Wait until the dish and the spoon get off screen, and then I can zoom on back. And this dog actually is a very short distance delivery, so we're gonna just take him down to the kid right down here. Who is missing his little dog? There's a ton of randomness in this game. It uh, it causes it, it, well, I don't know, it doesn't necessarily cause uh, too many problems, but uh, it can be hard to find certain items. You kind of have to look around to find the non-static things, like uh, little lamb, like Mary's little lamb. I'll shut up again so you can hear the music. I, uh, I hesitate to talk over the music because the music is kind of the one and only payoff in playing this game. Uh, so you, you know, you go and you talk to all of these characters, and uh, then they'll, uh, you know, they'll tell you a story or, or give you uh, a thing to look at. But can you bring me some broth for my children? Um, I never noticed the kid tied up in the shoe up above. Of course, the little lady that lived in the shoe is kind of a weird and scary and kind of terrifying story in and of itself, so I'm just going to avoid getting hung up on her so that she doesn't talk to me again, because I would rather not talk to the characters in this. Oh, there's King Cole's pipe. That's not going to be useful to me right now. I could start that delivery quest, but I don't know where the other, I don't know where the other objects are, so I'd rather not... Um, risk having to start that whole damn thing again. Although I guess I could... Uh, I can make the delivery. I can deliver one item and not, like, lose too much. Oh, and there's this bowl, actually, so we're gonna do not too badly. I'll bring you your bowl, and then I'll come back and I'll get the candlestick, and that'll take... that'll cover up the whole lower right corner of the map, for the most part. Which is kind of nice. Trying to do this as efficiently as possible. This is your bowl. No, this is the broth. Damn, it is a bowl, but it's not your bowl. You want the bowl with the nasty purple shit in it. All right, that's fine. Kind of messed that up, but whatever. I don't need to worry about not being able to make uh, this delivery. We're nice and close. We are still off to one side. Oops, I need to track around the corner here, and then we'll have covered basically the entire right side of the map now. Never have to come back here. No items, no people. Thank you. 
<laughs> the old woman in the shoe. Now that, <laughs> that's a um, uh, uh, nursery rhyme that just like I I don't necessarily get what the where all of these nursery rhymes kind of come from with the stories that they tell. It's like, yeah, I have a bunch of kids, I give them some food, but we can't really feed them, but, you know, I'm still going to beat them? Because old-fashioned fables and, and nursery rhymes and shit, I guess? I don't know. Anyway, so that side of the map is all clear. We are doing well. Uh, still got to get uh, little Miss Muffet over to her Tuffet, and we may as well do that right now, since it's not exactly on our way, but it's not so far off that we can't deal with it either. Uh, just going to peek over here to see what's going on with... Um... Okay, there's nothing over by him. That is the pie. I'm going to get the pie. You can stay there, Tough Muffet. The pie I can deliver to, um, Jesus, I don't even remember the name, it's, uh, uh, we'll find out in a moment, because I'm terrible at things. May just end up leaving the knife in here and coming back for it later. Georgie Porgy, no, it's not Georgie Porgy. What am I thinking? Little Jack Warner. There is pie in Georgie Porgy, though. Know? I'm really not going to go out of my way to question the um, fables or the... I keep saying fables every damn time. Uh, the nursery rhymes and, and sort of their message, because I'll just drive myself insane if I do that. But um, I'm just going to check to see what's in here, if there's something I want that's... Okay, that's the bucket, just to get an idea of where the bucket is, um, or of where whatever that is is. I suppose, but let's make this delivery to a little Bo Peep who had lost her sheep. feel like they could have optimized the whole animation path for this particular uh, little story bit uh, much better. Um, okay, anyway, uh, I'm going to go get the bucket. I'm going to make that delivery. I think I have gotten sidetracked. I thought I was supposed to be doing something, but I don't remember exactly what it is. We'll get back to that. We'll figure it out. Um, there's probably a more efficient way that I could have done that, but um, this will give us a chance to go and look. Oh, yeah, we were going to deliver Bo Peep. It's okay. We'll take you back to your pumpkin patch afterwards. We'll go grab Bo Peep and then we'll move back to the west. That should take us on a pretty straightforward path, I think. Not Bo Peep. This puppet. I suppose, as opposed to straight up shutting up while these things are going on, I could just sing the song, but I think if I did, people would be less happy than if I just sat and we listened to the music. Now, objectively, when you consider that uh, the, the music is sort of the major payoff in this particular game, it's funny that, you know, so many machines probably still had, like, only PC speaker, maybe even at best, maybe an ad-lib if you were lucky, 
but we have a Roland MT MT32, so sounds lovely. Yay, and finish your animation cycle so that we can move on! We have work to do! A little time to do it. Well, we have as much time as we possibly need, really, but... Um, to be completely honest, it is stupid o'clock in the morning right now, but uh, I had to record something where you folks would not have anything to watch for Sierra Saturday, and that would have been terrible because... Uh, we have recorded some footage for King's Quest IV, uh, but uh, something happened, uh, and we are attempting to fix the problem that happened. And in the meantime, uh, because that is unfixable at this exact moment, because I do not have access to the fix, uh, you get this instead. This is entirely impromptu, which is also why I'm the only one here to record. Not that you needed that information, but you get it, because that's me. I feel like aside from the candlestick, I'm starting to run out of things to immediately go to. There is still, I think, the knife in Little Jack Horner's place. So I'm gonna go and take care of that immediately. Then I'll get the candlestick, and that should take care of most of the right side of the map, like the whole right side, as opposed to just the right first sliver. Let's go get this knife. Shazam! And we will continue up to the northwest, blazing on over to get number 13 of 18. We are making good time. I, I still think it's going to take us a little bit, but I haven't lost too much time. Yay! Okay, we need this candlestick so that we can finish taking care of basically everything over here on this side of the map. I'm excited about that. It means that I don't have to do nearly as much backtracking as I was thinking I was going to have to. We're speedrunning it! Feels like the beginning of a Snoopy cartoon. <laughs> I feel like there was more to Jack be nimble, Jack be quick than just this. I'm, I'm probably wrong. I, my memory is not that great for uh, nursery rhymes. But uh, I didn't at all remember um, any more, uh, or the, the entire song of uh, Mary Had a Little... No, not Mary Had a Little Lamb. Yeah, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Like that whole bit of it going to school and the kids going crazy for it. There we go. Now we're definitively done with the right side of the map. I forgot about Humpty Dumpty before, but we... Uh, we're all taken care of now. If I don't get hung up on trees, the uh, the walkable uh, sort of land area in this uh, is pretty unforgiving. Like it's hard to, it's easy to get really stuck on things like trees and bushes and characters. I'm trying to keep out of the way of a lot of these things, but I do get stuck from time to time. Here we go, Humpty Dumpty. For your listening pleasure.
didn't even try. <laughs> it's not that they couldn't put Humpty together again, it's they really did not want to put in the effort. Came in, took a look, off his cap, was like, yeah. Can't be asked to do it. Did I already get what was in here? Yes, I did. Okay, I need to take care of those two. I still haven't found their object. Uh, meat, I believe. I think that's Jack Spratt there. Let's get in here. Try not to get stuck on the crooked man. There we go. Ah, there's the meat. Speak of it. And that's the meat. I... All right. I'm doing a pretty good job of not getting stuck on things. Um, I actually, to be honest, uh, this is the second time I tried the playthrough tonight. Um, and I just kept getting stuck on the fiddlers there. Those three guys running around. It was bad. It happened like ten times. It was... Ugh. Kitty! <laughs> I had a cat like that. He, uh... Little black cat. Um, actually a really big buff black cat, uh, ultimately, but, uh, he... had a tendency to kind of stand up over... get up over the edge of the table and kind of really get in there. Oh, look at that! Sixpence! Right underneath where I need to deliver it. If only it was that... easy every time. I think I'm close to done. Still need to deliver two more things to King Cole. That should be 18. Transitions really well, actually, into the uh, sort of default music for this game. All right, I just need to find the pipe at this point, which I have no idea where it is. So that's a bit of a pain. There are the fiddlers. This is where you guys have probably seen the pipe and are like, no, it's in there. You got to take it to the place, but... Oh, wait a minute, did I leave the pipe in Jack Horner's house? Did I possibly, maybe? What was that in the last playthrough? What was in the last playthrough? Dang! Not in here either. Oh boy, alright, well... I was afraid that this was going to happen. I was going to lose track of one object and then have to do a full runaround of the map. Now, I'm pretty sure that there's nothing left on this side of the map. Let's go into the schoolhouse. Yep, yeah, nothing in here to take. And... I will... I will see you guys in a moment when I find the pipe, because I'm not going to subject you to watching me fall, run around the whole map. See you in a minute. Aha! It wasn't even the pipe, it was this bowl of, of crud that I needed to bring to King Cole. We're good! I found it. I was looking for the pipe, I didn't even think about the bowl, uh, but I found it just by happenstance, and it didn't even actually take me that long, but I'm not going to subject you to finding me wandering around like a fool looking for an object that I didn't even need to look for because I'd already delivered it much earlier in the playthrough. Alright, and King Cole wants me to bring his Fiddlers 3, and that will finish us the game. Look at that. There they are, 17 of 18. They're gonna boot me out of the castle to finish this uh, this game, but 
We are in the final stretch, people, and we are still going to clock in under half an hour, miraculously, somehow. I can help you find the castle. I was just there, as a matter of fact. Why don't you follow me? We'll get this shit finished. Now, I know I'm... I'm I always hesitate usually to do a solo Let's Play. I used to do them on my own channel, but I find that I just work so much better having somebody to riff on, like with Matt. Um, unfortunately, you're stuck with me only today, but uh, I thought we did okay. What do you think? Wonderful job, NPC! I don't think, I don't think that was the voice that I was using originally. And everyone wants to think. Alright, well let's get on a goose and head back to get our congratulations. Three cheers for NPC! Hip hip hooray! Look at me, we did a thing. It took less than half an hour. You got your full half hour's worth of content. I hope that you enjoyed this particular Sierra Saturday. I felt like we accomplished something today, even though it was just me, and so therefore you don't get the kind of banter that you're used to hearing on Sierra Saturday and the rest of the Level Zero NPCs. You're probably tired of hearing me alone talk if you ever listen to our Thursdays or Sierra Sa uh, sorry, Serious Sundays, but... This will happen from time to time, hopefully not too often. We only ever had to do it with Jotun before, but, uh... I'm not going to subject it to you. You do it too often. But there we go. We beat the game. This is it. No end credits. Nothing really special. We sit here. A goose comes out from behind my drawer and disappears. But I'm pretty sure there's nothing else that I can do. Mother Goose and her design team hope you enjoyed Mix Up Mother Goose, as did I. Congratulations on a job well done watching me finish this children's game. <laughs> Thank you, as always, for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. I enjoyed myself a little bit playing this game as well. Uh, and until next time, take care. Bye.